Hey, in today's video we're going to be talking about the BA4 and BA5 Omicron variants that are expected to take over the world in the next wave. My name is Dr. Mikhail Rashik of Marriage Genomics and before we get started let me remind you that we have another COVID Q&A event coming up. So please stay till the end of the, v of the video to find out how you can get free tickets. We also have another video coming up for holistic well-being program that I'm doing with a couple of my colleagues also stay till the end of the video to learn more about that event so let's get started so recently I've been telling you about this group of scientists that <laughs> uh, basically predicts using computational programming which variants might be taking over in a future wave so we discussed their work in terms of how vaccines might be influencing virus evolution and they're also recently I mentioned in the last video how they also predicted that the current variant that is now ripping through Alberta and most of the world, the BA2 variant of the Omicron, will take over. The, so they were right. The reason why we followed their work so closely is because they pretty much have 100% accuracy track record thus far. And they just published another publication improving their computational model. And based on that information, they are now predicting that the BA4 and BA5 Omicron variants will take over the world. Why? Because, believe it or not, these variants, they are identical, by the way, in the spike protein, which is why they're predicting both of them could take over, and or either one of them, but they are they're differ in mutations in other virial, vi vi virus proteins. And basically, the the mutations that these BA4 and BA5 variants have make them approximately 36% more, even more infectious than the BA2 Omicron variant that is uh, that is being that is basically ripping through the world right now. Which, by the way, according to their information, is approximately 20 times already more infectious than the Wuhan variant that started the pandemic. It's actually quite incredible that the virus continues to evolve so rapidly and is still finding ways to become more infectious. By the way, what, that me what does it mean for the virus to be become more infectious? It means it is still finding ways to bind more and more efficiently to the ACE2 receptor because the binding to the receptor, ACE2 receptor, corresponds to the infectivity of the virus. So we're going to find out whether they're accurate in this particular prediction or not. But besides being able to map the topology of the spike protein in relation to the receptor, they also do this against the antibodies. We've discussed that previously as well. But what is really neat is that now what these authors are also doing, they are checking what type of mutations could be introduced to the existing antibodies in order to create an antibody that could be as could be a, could attack every single variant basically so we're talking about antibodies that no virus mutant would be able to escape so that's super interesting we'll see how well they do do with this in the future perhaps we might need this in the future to some degree to help fight this pandemic because right now it's just incredible that the virus continues to evolve and find new ways to still become more infectious so that's all i have for you in this context now if you're still with me please remember we have another covid q a event coming up those are lots of fun basically we collect top nine or ten questions from the audience and we answer that those are questions that have been submitted either through the YouTube channel or via email. And then it's open mic to the audience. All levels are welcome, by the way. It doesn't really matter what kind of background you have. And uh, they're, they're basically, if we cannot answer your questions, we'll be looking into the science of it behind. The other event that I want to tell you about, oh, and also how you get free tickets. So then first 10 people who subscribe to our newsletter will send you free tickets, all right? so the the link to the subscription is in the description below. 
Now, in terms of the other event, the program, wellness program, I get together with two other experts. One of them is financial expert, the other one is mental health expert. And together we're bringing our expertise together to provide a package for businesses to provide to their employees in order to make sure that employees can be best taken care of. Ooh, <laughs> it's kind of steep here, so <laughs> I gotta watch my footwork. And basically, we provide a six week long educational program for people in order to, to teach them different tricks about how to maintain the best possible well-being in a different areas of life. So financial well-being, mental health well-being, and I'm taking care of their physical well-being with a twist of using DNA mapping to help you achieve those goals. So check it out, this is uh, free for business owners. So again, the registration to that is provided in the link below. And if you like these videos, please give us a like, leave us a comment, share the video. Obviously, that's always a big one. And uh, we are looking forward to seeing you in the next installment. Bye everyone.